What's up everybody, it's the Bear Maker, and welcome to another video. Now this is part this is like two different things. It's both a test because as you can see my there's no like the timer on my recording is completely different and that's because I got a new uh a screen recorder. I found a new one. And hopefully this one's a lot better than the old one because the old one was just terrible. But this is also a pr kind of like, you know how people do those predictions, have been putting up those prediction, N Nintendo Direct prediction sort of things? Why well, I had a... I uh, made one myself, actually. Well, I'm deciding to make one. It's not scripted, though, so... Fair for stammering. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I guess the most obvious thing first is... Is what I've been hyping up... Uh, most of all, which is... You know, what I've been hyping, trying to hype up for myself with all these leaks and whatnot. And a lot of our stuff is both ban more information on Banjo and Kazooie as they are coming to Smash. And possibly the uh, announcement of the fourth fighter. <clears throat> I'm hoping I'm able to live stream it, but if I'm not able to, then I'll just do a recording and react and upload that. Uh, a not live reaction. But it'll still be, it'll be live, like, the direct will be live, but I, my video won't be live. Oh, come on! <laughs> Trying to do a video here. Anyways, yeah, and also there's one thing, one thing that just appeared recently, which has been freaking, which is freaking amazing. That actually, wait, wait, wait. I just want to say I freaking called this. I may not have said it on this channel, on my channel. But I have been saying it to my friends. I had been saying over and over. Well, not over and over. Just every once in a while when Overwatch... Sometimes when Overwatch becomes a topic. I freaking called the freaking Overwatch was going to be a freaking switch. What did he say? I knew that they don't leave us hanging. I've been wanting to play Overwatch for so long, even despite it being a shooter game which uses joystick camera controls and not motion camera controls. A motion control camera, which, which is why I use, which is why I don't. The only shooter games I really play are Splatoon. It's Splatoon and Splatoon Two. But no, nonetheless. I've been wanting to play it, and the fact that it's coming to us, it it basically been confirmed by Kotaku and just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's coming actually really soon, not really soon, like, but as soon as it can be, which is next month, freaking October... 15th, I believe. Which, I mean, October and September are freaking the best months so far. Freaking, we, we're getting a direct, and we're most definitely getting Banjo this month. If I remember correctly, um, uh, I'm, I'm looking at a paper I got. Yeah, a Hat in Time also releases for Switch. In October, on October 18th, 
And luckily that I'm pretty sure Overwatch won't cut into my my funds so I, to get ahead in time Luigi's Mansion 3 and John Day and the Seven Sirens because I'm pretty sure it's free on on every other platform so so it most likely is free on it's going is going to be free on Switch. And speaking of Luigi's Mansion 3, that's also happening in October on the 31st. Like I said, one other time, go on Nintendo for making for making a game making a themed game release. Good job, Nintendo. Good job. But still. Ah, I'm just so freaking happy. But there are other stuff that I am somewhat expecting them to announce. Like I am there I am expecting them to actually announce Overwatch and ahead of time and whatnot. And also we all know that they're going to talk about stuff having to do with Luigi's Mansion 3 and Pokemon Sword and Shield. There's also a lot of other stuff. Now, we've actually gone over, it's actually been gone over in the blocked content weeks. And, and the, um, what is it, what is it? Well, just really only the blocked content weeks. Like, Metroid Prime. Or are we going to get an update on how that's going? If we're getting it at all. Bayonetta 3 is also a, Bayonetta 3 is also a thing. Although I'm not really interested in the Bayonetta series, it'd still be cool to see an update on that. Just so I can see how it is. And see if I if I may get into the series for the game, because I if I'm going to play one game because I think it's interesting, and it's a sequel to other games, that I'm going to play through the entire series, because I want to know the entire thing. I don't want to miss anything. Unless it's a standalone story, it, I, I'm, I'd get every single other game in the series. And obviously, one thing that I really want, and most of you might know, will know this, if, you have been checking out my blocked content reaction is Mario Maker 2 DLC. That is something that I've always we've been waiting for since since they actually announced 3D World and and showed that well not announced 3D World but like when they I talked a little bit. I can't remember exactly when it was. I I think it might have been the Mario Maker 2 Direct. Or maybe it was something before. But you know, the extra game styles. Uh, it's, it was pro for that menu. So, so also you're getting another game style. But most likely, we're getting other stuff than just new game, game style. Like... Possibly new enemies and whatnot. And one of the things that I would really want in are freaking new bosses. Because, I mean, it's cool that they added in Boom Boom and Pom Pom. But the thing is, they don't really live up to the expectation. Yes, I have used them in quite a lot of my, my Mario Maker 2 levels. And yes, I did. I have found ways to make their battles interesting and all that. But it it just it kinda gets old after a while. Not to mention they're they're they can be real easy. I mean boom boom is also freaking easy as high unless you you put them on in 3D world on on a bouncing platforms or whatever they're called. Like they're like mushrooms or something like that. But at the same time, it can still be pretty easy. Well not. 
Not to mention, I mean, it, it, it's practically like facing off against Bowser Jr. And also, I, I'm tired of trying, just using Boom Boom, really, only in... Actually making him the primary boss in, in my levels in the 3D world style. I want... Because he's so freaking easy. He literally just... You literally just jump on him, he ducks, then as soon as he he starts cowering in a show, you jump on him again and do that another time and he's done. In literally just a few seconds. Less than thirty seconds, I'm sure. Probably even less than ten. Like he's so freaking easy. And it'd be cool to have and one of the boss, bosses that I really wanted, and that has been talked about before, in a Nintendo Land video on bosses that would need to, that should come up to Super Mario Maker 2, is the Koopaling. I mean, they've been a staple in Mario games for years, ever since the third game in the original trilogy. Mario Super Mario Brothers 3 and they've stuck with us ever since. I mean sure they haven't made had a real real appearances in on the yet. Well actually they they yeah they really haven't. They 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 made an appearance but it it, it was just in Mario Brothers U Deluxe which is literally just a re a, a remake of Mario Brothers U. The only thing they changed is the fact that Toadette is in the game with the Super Crown. So I mean, other than that, it's basically just playing as Nabbit, except you have a double jump and you're not invincible. And if you don't have the Super Crown, then you just play like. Yellow toe or blue toe. So it's it, it's really not all, it it's really not all that. I mean, I mean, I I I I'm still gonna play. I I didn't get a chance to get Mario Brothers. Well, maybe I'll get it on the Wii. You or maybe I will. Actually, no, I'm, I'll get the deluxe version just because you get to play as Toad. Even. Even they they should have a way for you to disable her be getting a hundred more seconds on the timer. Like they really should. Like I don't know if that's in New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. But I pretty but I, I am pretty sure it's in Super Luigi U Deluxe. So I mean it's it it's they they should allow you to separate. So if you want it to be way easier with more time on the clock. But anyways, the Koopalings have been very, very interesting bosses. I mean, sure they have been that interesting themselves. Cause usually the only thing that really changes with them is the stage they're playing on. Like in New Super Mario Brothers Wii, they stepped it up with having stuff like Morton coming out of pipes in the ceiling trying to drop down on you. And if you land on the ground, he creates a shockwave that can stun you. Um, Wendy still threw her ring, but they move slower. But every once in a while, the arena would filled with water and you have to swim and avoid her and her rings because you can't stomp on enemies in the water and Mario Brothers Wii. And you know, a lot of other stuff. And how they've but I mean those aren't really changes to them. That's changes to the battlefield themselves, but they have gotten changes done to them. Because going back to New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, or let's go with 
OG with Super Mario Brothers U, not Deluxe, U, because that's OG, that's the original game that started this whole remake craze. Oh, whoa. New Super Luigi U wasn't technically a remake. I mean, it was, but it was also new in its own way. Like, I'm pretty sure most of the stages were, act well, most of the levels. I, I, either way, they, they were changed. Like, they were altered. Quite a bit, I believe. From New Super Mario Bros. U. But they had gotten not just changes in Battlefield in the in the in the place you fight them, but also changes in their attacks and moveset. Because I mean, sure, when you stomp on them, they still go across the go back and forth across the ground in their shells. But when they're out of their shells, they actually have new Attacks specific to only them and techniques and whatnot. Like, I believe Morton had a hammer, he would hit pokey, po pokey segments at you. Um, Iggy would actually value you in an area of charvargs or whatever they're called, and he would also go into pipes on the side of the arena. And even go on the, and go on the ceiling, which was pretty freaking crazy. Perfect for Iggy. And and uh, and for a final example, Roy had a uh, had a bullet bill cannon, if I remember correctly. I mean, did he ever use it in the second and third phase? I am not sure. I think I remember seeing somewhere that he didn't actually really use it all that much. But still, it'd be really cool. Cool to have bosses like the Kooplings who have their own unique sort of moveset and not like the same thing we've seen for a long time in Super Mario Maker. I mean, Boom Boom is basically just Bowser Jr. So the way he's except he doesn't really go into his show and move around. And the other side in Mario 3 World, he's literally Bowser Jr. And Pom Pom is basically just Boom Boom, except he doesn't go into a sh she doesn't go into her shell and she makes multiple different copies of her, although it's really easy. Know who the real one is? It it was honestly, I, I'm I, I'll admit it was a their battles were a lot harder in the actual 3D world. And I can say that because I actually did get 3D world really recently, and have have been have played through the entire main game, and I'm on on Star World right now. The point, point is, they, they they were a lot more challenging in a 3D environment, and when you put them in a 2D environment, they're not really, they're, they're still interesting. They're still, they still can be fun to play against, but, I mean, they just, they just, they're, they're not, that interestingness, that uniqueness doesn't really, stay much and not to mention boom boom is freaking easy and and all the other styles and pom pom can only be based in super mart in the super mario 3d world style well, even though it'd be really really fun to the fighter in the other four styles most likely soon to be other five. <laughs> Unless they also make that style separate from everybody else. I, I I hope at one at some point they're going to combine they're gonna make it so that 
although there's sections of it different category, you, you 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 don't have to. They're not completely sectioned off, and there and you will be able to use stuff from Mario Bros. Mario Bros. Mario Bros. Three, Mario Bros. Mario World, Mario New Super Mario Bros. U, and use all that stuff in. Mario 3 World and whatever other game style or styles more game other than that. And of course, with the announcement of Banjo and Kazooie joining the battle, we're also going to be expecting an update on what's going to be in the 5.0 update because obviously they're going to bring that with them. Now, see, there's quite a lot of stuff that we there, there there could be anything. We could be getting anything. Like according to the leaks, we could we seem to be in the future getting getting Smash now online, um, Squad Strike online, and and um. I think something else online. Actually, no, it was like a new thing for the Smash mode, which apparently was Coin Smash, though. So, so Coin Smash doesn't seem very likely because, I mean, that, that, that mode. I, I've heard. I, I've never played it myself because I don't have Brawl or Melee. And I've never been able to play them. I will in the future, though. Especially brawl, I I can't say positive, hundred percent for melee, but I can't say that for brawl. I will do it one of these days. I will get a copy of brawl, but I mean it it I I've heard it not really all that fun, and apparently it was one of the worst things about the about melee and brawl, and so I doubt they would bring that. Like it seems more like for target smash. Or not. We also know in games and more, we're going to eventually get home run contest because that's been the files since release. And well, we we gotta get it eventually. Why not? Why not bring in for what the most hyped up characters in? Smash history, freaking Banjo and Kazooie. I mean, come on. And we're also, and also, aside from uh, those modes, we could be getting, they could announce something completely new. Because I don't, I wouldn't, I mean, Smashdown and Squad Strike Online, that's pretty new, but it'd still be Smashdown and Squad Strike. It'd be a new experience for it, but it's still different. It'd be, it'd be a new experience, I mean, but it'd be, it'd still be most we're familiar with. Because we know about them already. We know how they work. Kind of. If they were to be, there would be a, a sort of, you, you get what I mean. Okay. Well, we could get something new. Like, one thing I've been dreaming of to be in Smash is, like, ever since I learned that you could play as Master Hand in a part of World of Light, I did. I've been dreaming of possibly a special mode you could play with friends or online or something where one person plays as Master Hand, another Master Hand or Master Hand and Crazy Hand or one person plays as Master Hand or one person plays as Crazy Hand or one person plays as Crazy Hand. You get the gist. And mo and and up to four two to four maybe other players try and they take down the people who are 
for Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And maybe you could play it with CPUs or something like that. Like, I mean, that freaking sounds lit. Especially, I mean, come on, you can't. You can't just have, allow us to play as Math Hand in World of Light, but restrict it to once per playthrough. Especially when I'm pretty sure a full playthrough is, can take about maybe three hours or more. Considering that you have to let you have you are forced to go and cross both the light realm and the dark realm to get to defeat the bosses to walk the battles of Gleam and Dark on. And then in the final battle you have to get the true ending. You have to lock the path to the true ending, meaning you have to balance out light and dark. And make it so that you free Master Hand and Crazy Hand. I mean, that's that doesn't seem like a lot, but with how big the map, all the maps are combined, and the fact that every single time you got for to get to every objective, you have to go through into a battle. You have to go through like. 20, like, like, 10 to 20 battles or, battles or more, just to get to the, the next objective, I mean, it just takes so long, it takes so long, or maybe just have a little bit of a bonus, a, a small little mode that allows us to replay that as many times as you like. Like a special bonus to World of Light. That that'd be that would that'd be really nice. But hey, Nintendo, I, I ain't forcing you to do it. I ain't forcing you. I'm just saying it'd be it'd be freaking weird. Smash Flash and Nintendo doesn't even count. <laughs> but still, but seriously. And there was one other thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it. And 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 one of the leaks that we had that we had seen from blog content, there was a mention of possibly a new Paper Mario game for Switch, which so many people have been waiting for. So many people. Really, really want a new Paper Mario game, preferably better than Sticker Star. And I guess it give, I guess, Color Splash. Just this whole thing going. Like I was proud to read a comment section where this was a whole thing, thing. Literally just yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Where you know, it, it was on some. Flannis or some I can't remember how it's spelled, so I don't really know. I can't remember how to pronounce it. But he does this whole series on Splat Smash Planet, which is a parody of Animal Planet Planet and uh you know one of the most popular comments on that was was like um let me see if I can find it. Oh, oops. Here we go. It's like, Ingrid's on Paper Mario stage. What? This is Color Splash now? <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> it deserves a lot more than 500, basically 600 likes. Also, just realized it's 439. We are getting closer and closer to that direct. Okay. Like, yeah. Like, you know. Wrong choice, eh? I hope not. Nintendo Kelly, who I agree with, as you can see. It's just like, Curse Charge is actually pretty good, in my opinion, non the levels of the first two Paper Mario stuff, which is reasonable. Then, hey. No little shit. And, and then we got a whole. A lot of people just like they're the sticker star. 
And to be honest, I also there's some super crocky talking about. I hope that new Paper Mario will be shown. Like honestly, I, I shouldn't be saying this. I I'm going to put it on on top TVM. Okay, I I'm going to put it on what. It like to be honest, it, it, it's a cover splash in my opinion. Wasn't bad, okay? It it wasn't bad. But I think the one reason why, like, cover splash and I can't believe I'm saying this, sticker star was had gotten so much, uh, you know, warrant basically became place old. Basically became the black sheep of the Mario series when Super Paper Mario started to get the recognition it deserves because it, it it's freaking amazing. I'm I'm just gonna say it now. It's my favorite, my favorite Super Paper Mario. A lot of people say Thousand Year Door and the first Paper Mario, which are good. I'm not gonna lie, they're freaking amazing. But Super Paper Mario is literally my favorite. But I feel like the reason why Color Splash and Sugar Star get so much hate. Well, sticker star, because I mean, in my opinion, that I, I even said said here. If we're being honest, the only thing sticker star had for it was the soundtrack. Wait, 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 um, wait no, 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 there we go. Okay, no, that's about, do. That's about it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that, you, you can't lie. Love her or hate it, I'm spinning straight back, okay? That, the, the soundtrack was, was freaking banging. That soundtrack was freaking amazing. I loved it. It's the only reason why I played this, the game to this day. I'm not even kidding. Also, the blooper grouper boss. I don't know why, but there's just... Well, it's probably because, like, the, the, the song is... Is good at own, but when you have Boop, Looper Goopers clap to the beat of the song, I mean, it it just sounds freaking amazing. It's it's so freaking good. I love it. Anyways, oh, there we go. But, I mean, it, it feels like the only reason why people don't like it really, don't like them really, and they get a lot of, a lot of hate really is, because people, people compare them too much to the, to the first two Paper Mario games, rather than treating them as their own game. I mean, they, I, I don't think Nintendo's trying to, Trying to, trying to recreate the magic of the first two games. I think they're trying to create something new. I mean, that's that seems to be what the Sonic series is. Why so many modern Sonic games get so much hate, but yet the classic Sonic games are freaking praised like they're gods. Because people, you know... They they favor the the original so much, and they compare compare the the games that come out come out after the classic Sonic games to the classic Sonic games as though appreciating them as their own game. And it's also the same with with Smash Bros. When it comes to people who are all who. Don't like the Smash games just because it's not Melee. And before you go hating on Daniel Bandy, agreeing with me and hating on Daniel Bandy, no, it's a freaking running joke on his channel. I know for a fact that he doesn't... He, he sees the games... He he like I know he likes all the games. I've seen his triggered and his mind blowing videos. I've seen them. I I know about the freaking this video's over exaggerating or or anything always. 
put that at the beginning of them. Because honestly, in my opinion, although Smash 4, I will say Smash 4 is my favorite. Don't judge me. I mean, Ultimate is definitely a close second, a close first. But it's still basically in second. Smash 4 is my number one. I won't say why. Because, no, that's my own opinion, okay? Just respect it, okay? I will respect you guys' opinion, so please respect mine. But, like, I mean, obviously there are people who like Melee because of what it has to offer. Offer, and they won't, and they won't, they'll just say that the other ones are, are bad just because they don't work like melee or whatnot. Although Smash Ultimate does somewhat work like melee. But there are people out there who do. I mean, I I remember reading this one article. I mean I'm not saying it's true. It might be true. It's a time it might not be. But I read this one article about apparently this Smash player who like I think it was like a physically abused his son in some way or something like that, just because his son wanted to play Smash Ultimate, and not Melee. And I mean, seriously, now, I don't know if that's real. I don't know if that's really the story of what happened or whatnot. But if it is going the way that I think it is, then I mean that's just an example of that sort of thing. Thing, because like sometimes they are going to try and recreate the magic of the original, but sometimes they're going to try. The companies are going to try and try something completely new, something they never tried before. And that's also why there's a lot of controversy with the Shadow of the Hedgehog games. In my opinion, it, it's not a bad game, but of course there's going to be some people out there who just like, well, yeah, it's not a bad game, but it's a bad song. It's a bad Shadow game. It's a bad song game. So I like how some how there are people out there who say, Well Breath of the Wild is a good game, but it's a bad Zelda game. No. No, stop trying to compare with the to the rest of the series. Just treat it like its own game. Cause I mean, if the developers wanted to wanted to try and recreate Hey, what the other games with a whole new game, I mean, then it's justified, but but I'd say with the fact, with all the different changes to the formula that we got in Breath of the Wild, it's free. I'd say it's a freaking great game that is basically standing alone while still being part of the series. It's its own game. It's part of a series, yes. But it's not supposed to work like the rest of the game. They're not trying to make it like the rest of the game. They're trying to make its own game with its own mechanics, its own plot, but still tie in with the rest of the series and still make it part of that series, if you get what I mean. I'm sorry that I made this entire whole rant. Unfortunately, I'm going to recreate on Talk TV anyways. Eventually. But, yeah. I mean, but that's just what I think. That's just what I think of. On that sort of stuff. stuff. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I always break your opinion. Just don't, just, 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 just don't hate on me for my... But, I mean, I don't really think... But yeah, but yeah, yeah. It'd be really, really nice to have a new Paper Mario game. Hopefully, not too soon, though, because I mean, I'll have the funds for two Switch games, a hand time, and Shantae and the Seven Simons. Because I, I, I don't think they would be sixty dollars if they are. If I'll, if those hand time, Shantae the Seven Sirens, and Luigi's Mansion 3 are all $60.
I'd be in trouble. But I don't think they would. With the fact of how much the Shantae game that haven't ported the Switch are, I feel like that this new installment series isn't going to be as cheap as the ports. But it's not going to be as much as as sixty dollars. It'd probably be around the middle, like maybe around twenty ish. And it had time, most likely would be the same same thing as well. Or maybe it would be um sixty dollars, which, like I said, I I'd be in trouble. That's also a thing. Those are also things that I. Imagine will actually be on the direct because I mean, Way Forward has been making significant progress, lots of progress on on trying to the Seven Sirens, and they just recently put out their first actual gameplay footage, not just screenshots and all that, like actual gameplay of the game. Of course, I didn't see. It. I want to go into it completely blind except for the release trailer and what I know already from from a few things but I don't want to know literally anything about the game really like because it's I'm, I'm just freaking hyped okay I I want it to be my first Shantae game. I want it to be the first one I ever play. It's not going to be the first one I see, but it's going to be the first one I ever play. And it had, and it had in time was recently announced that it would be ported to Switch, which is most likely going to also be direct. Especially since that actually has a release date as of now. But the fact that it's coming on October 18th. Hey, why don't you stop calling? My goodness. I swear, she better not be start calling me during the direct reaction. Like, my goodness. Anyways, yeah. So, I... So, the fact that it's coming so... Soon from now, very, very, actually, pretty much, really soon from now. It, I, I wouldn't expect, I, I, I would expect it to be on the direct. Bay, bay. That, that's just my prediction, as there have been many. And so I think I'm gonna leave it, leave that here, and, well, I'll see you all. When I react to direct, whether that be on a live stream or a non-live video. Most likely going to be a non-live video, because I think live streaming is more better if I have it. It's better if I were to have a computer and react to on that. So, I guess I'll be seeing you then.